different scenarios. It's kind of thinking, first of all, what would Hulk Hogan do giving you the sex talk? Right? Because first of all, he'd look at your brother. He'd say, listen here, dude. You got your pigs over here. You got your birds over here, dude. All right? Then they're going to get into a big rumble. You understand? You understand? All right. So after that, then, those horrible rumbles going to happen, and nine months later, a little Hulkamaniac's going to come out. I'm like, oh, dude, dude. I'm 36. I know this. So I'm good. So. Then it also got me thinking another favorite of mine was Macho Man Randy Savage. Anybody like him? Yeah. Go, Macho Man Randy. Yeah. Look at that right there. I like your old ring. You're good. Good people. Yeah. So it got me thinking about him working at Starbucks. You know? Just imagine that. You know? Hey, Rory, welcome to Starbucks. What do you want today? Uh, yeah, I'll take a house plan. House plan. Very good. Right. Elizabeth, make the house plan right now. Don't look at me. Make the house plan. Swear to God, you know. Go find the the macho man. All right. So here we go. Five dollars right there. Sweet. Uh, ten. You know, do that stuff. Then just, <laughs> then just imagine if you like had a complaint to the macho man, that would be bad. You know? Excuse me. Um. Yeah, this house plan. It doesn't taste right. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say to the watch me right now? Uh, it doesn't taste right. Oh, so you don't like the macho man's coffee? Yeah, did you hear that was a bit? Yeah, he doesn't like my coffee, yeah. Oh, so you want to hear Hulk Hogan have his coffee? Yeah, hey Hulk, when you're done talking about babies, come on over here. Make some coffee for this guy. No, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I will just, you know, I'll just take it. Thank you. Another guy I liked who was the American Dream Death of Road Bidet. Everybody heard of him, or I guess not, so there's no always applauding on that one, you know. Don't worry, he's just a bad wrestler, don't worry, you know. So yeah, just kind of imagine like doing customer service somewhere, kind of like, maybe like Ryzen or something. Hey, come, we're back, and this is the American Dream. Death of Bro, baby, yeah! So what's your problem, my dear? Um, I'm a dude, and um, I can't seem to get my 4G connected. Oh, your 4G connected, baby, let me tell you something right now. Your 4G is down, baby. It's going through some hard times. You know what hard times is about, baby? No, I don't. I don't know about hard times. Let me tell you about hard times, baby. It's when Ric Flair, the world heavyweight champion, sneaks in and just, you know, wants to take the towel from you. I'm like, dude, I just want my phone fixed. Dusty, just fix my phone. I'm getting out of it. Don't worry, don't worry about that. You know, look at that right there. Look at that dude over there. That's right, yeah. So, anyways, real quickly, I think another guy, I'll go back to Macho Man. Yeah, because apparently everybody likes Macho Man, but not Dusty. I mean, poor Dusty Rhodes, that bastard. Anyways. So, yeah, so the Macho Man, probably in the same scenario, you know, just be like, how can I fix your phone? The Macho Man's gonna fix your phone, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't connect to the internet. Oh, you can't connect to the internet? All right, very well. Let me just look at some stuff here. What model do you have? Uh, I've, got the, I've got the iPhone 3. Oh my god, he's got the iPhone 3, he's got the iPhone 3, can you believe that? How oh, does a bit this guy have an iPhone 3 like that? What is he, like 1976 or something? My god, listen here, bud, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your phone, right? Sneak it in your tights, and then what you do, find the person you hate, and then wham, whack them in the head. That's right, you whack them right in the head, then go to the nearest AT&T store, yeah, and you're gonna buy a new phone. Did you get all of that? Uh, yeah, I did. So, thank you everybody for appreciating it. Thank you. Have a great night.